Put my layer open. All right, we're going to learn how to use the blend tool. We'll run through this pretty quick, pretty easy. Um, so we're going to start by creating three boxes with three different colors. I'm going to work side by side with my PDF just to speed things up. So, so I'm going to take these, I'm going to put these on a new layer. Just call it top blend. Okay. I'm gonna paste this in place. Edit. Paste the front. Okay. So the blend tool. Let's you just create different blends between colors. Super easy to use. It's here in this toolbar or it can be found under Object, Blend, and then you can make different options. So easiest thing to do is just click on the Blend tool. Click on one of the boxes you want to blend. And there you have the blend. You can edit these blends if you want. The way you do that, need to go into your layers and I'm going to choose this blue box so I'm going to go into this layer select this blue box into my selection tool and now I can pull this blue box out and you can see how that has changed the blend I can change the color of the blend I can rotate the blend. It's not making much difference, but once you're in this mode and you can select the different components, you can move them around. So it's the blend tool. And to edit these components, you open up your layers, find the rectangle you want to uh, edit, and edit it. So we can blend between different, I'm going to unlock these. Edit between different shapes just to see, so you can see what happens here. Let's see, I'm going to put these on their own layer. It's just easier to edit them there. So we star, okay. And we're going to edit, paste in front. Again, select your blend mode. And then just click on the blends. Again, if you want to edit these, let's say we want to edit. Oh, where'd it go? Random shape, blend star. I don't think I got it on the right layer. That's all right. I'm going to take these two shapes that I already created. Let's do them with the pen tool. Oh, they're locked. Unlock them. And I'm going to lock all these so I don't end up in layer lines. Okay, let's move lines up to the very top. So we have lines layer on the top. Everything's locked. Edit. Place in front. Oh, it doesn't like. Okay, let's do this again. Edit. Copy. Go to lines. Edit. Paste. Okay. So now we have our lines spaced on top, and same, same rule. Click, and click, and it's given us this pretty interesting shape. So if we double click on this, 
we can edit the transition steps. So say we want to do specific steps. Let's just go down to 100 and see how it breaks it up. Okay, and you can see that that broke that line up a bit. You can go any, um, any kind of setting you want. So now, I'm going to open up this, go to the top land, and I've grabbed this line here, and I'm just going to change it. And let's see. Click again. You have to make sure you have selected your blend. Spin it this way. Once you have this built, remember our distort tools. Shape builders and stuff, twirl. Get some pretty interesting geometric shapes going in here. All right. Part three. I'm going to duplicate this and pull it over to the other side, create a new layer. Copy paste. Put it on a new layer, lock these layers. Let's call this random. Random line. I just created that with the pen tool. So here we are, top. Paste. So duplicated that. I'm going to take these circles that I put a graduated fill in, copy them, put them up on a random line, and create a blend. Go to our blend tool. Okay, so this is kind of the fun part. And this is where I want you to experiment with different colors and different tools. So we're going to attach this to that line, random line. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to select our blend and our line. Go to object, we go to blend. We're going to say replace spine object blend replace spine. Okay. So we need to increase the number of steps in this. So how do we do that? Double click. And we're going to make it 500 steps. Oh, that's too many. Let's make it 300. Let's make it 250. More. 350. All right, that works. That works for what we're going to do. Okay. So now we have this kind of worm looking thing. And what I want you to do is create a box that's four by four. Let's just approximate this so that it's roughly the right dimensions. Okay. So four inches by four inches. Right. It's probably not four inches by four inches, but it's got the right proportion. So in the background, we can create a blend in the background if you want. Let's do that. We're on 
rid of mine. Just take me a moment to save. Do that blue. And let's do maybe a green. Then we'll blend these. And we'll send it to the back. And then get rid of our purple. So now we have this. Now let's have fun with this. So let's take this. We'll go to effect. Stylize, drop shadow. And it's taking a moment to do it. Computer's slow tonight. So I'll just go through a couple other effects. Okay, we'll just go with that drop shadow. I really like the twirl tool, so I'm going to take the twirl tool and just twirl things up here. So, set up here. All right, now you got some kind of weird alien creating movie, movie monsters. Okay, so that's basically the assignment. Have fun with it. Looking forward to the artwork you create. Stop.